Hi everybody, this is Nat from Studio Hacks and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take any song and turn it into your ringtone on an iPhone using the iOS 13 operating system. And we can even trim the song to the section that we want. And uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how you can take a song out of your music library and make it into a ringtone. And then in the second half of the video, I'm going to show you how you can download a song off the internet only using your iPhone and turn that into your ringtone. So to do this, we're going to need the GarageBand app. This is a free music creation app. And if you don't have it on your iPhone, you can simply go to the app store, search for GarageBand and download that. Once you have that downloaded, we're going to open up GarageBand here. And then it's going to show me this screen, which is basically all of my previous uh, garage band sessions that I've made. Sometimes it might fire up on this recent screen as well. Um, and you can switch between recent and browse down the bottom there on that little tab. So I actually want to create a new song for this. So I'm going to hit under the browse menu, create song. And then it will ask you what sort of track you want to start out your song with. And all you need to do is scroll through until you see, I already had it up there, the audio recorder. That's going to create an audio track for us. Now we're not going to record any of our own audio, so I'm going to hit this little uh, icon right here to go to the track view. And our section, default section is eight bars in length, which is probably 20 or 30 seconds long. And that's about all we're going to need for a ringtone. If you want to make it a bit longer, you can use this plus button right here to make your section more bars in length. So if I do hit that now, you can see I can tap on section A and I can use this up and down arrow to change the length. I can make this shorter as well if I just want a short section to loop over and over. For the moment, I'm just going to use eight bars, which is the default. Now we need to locate the song that we're going to turn into the ring ringtone rather, and we use this loops library button right here. This is going to show us the Apple loops and we can switch between Apple loops, files and music up on the top there. I'm going to select music and this is going to show me my uh, Apple iTunes library. So this will only work for songs that you have purchased on the iTunes library or that you have imported into your iTunes uh, on your computer and synced up with your phone. So any songs that you don't have downloaded to your iPhone or have restrictions will appear as grayed out. Now, some of these songs I do own, I did purchase, um, but I haven't actually downloaded them um, on my phone here. So let me see if I can find one. Well, let, let's actually see if I can get this Blame It On The Boogie as my download from Michael Jackson. So first of all, I'm going to duck straight back out and I'm going to search for Blame It On The Boogie and download that. This is one that I purchased through iTunes. So in this section, this will, this will work for any songs you have in your iTunes library. After I've shown you this, I'll show you another way where you can get basically any other bit of music from online and do the same thing. So there it is. Now it's on my iPhone. I should be able to just go out and back in and see hopefully that I have that song now on this iPhone since I've downloaded it. There it is there. So I'm going to pop my finger on that and hold it down. And then when I move it around, I can select where I want to drag it. I want to drag it all the way to the left and drop it there. So this is going to be the first part of this song. I'm not going to play it because of copyright reasons. But what you can do is, is if you click on this region, you can trim it down. There we go. Sometimes it's a bit finicky, but I'm just holding the left hand side. So let's say I want just this little section as my ringtone. I can bring in the boundaries from the left and the right, and I can make that my ringtone there. I can also drag this all the way to the left if I want to here later in the song and then expand that back out again. And then all I need to do is hit play to listen to that. And I can find the section that I really want. Let's say I found this two bar or maybe four bar section that I really like as my ringtone, I can click on that again. If I click on it once and then again, 
and then I can loop that so it'll just copy it basically and loop that. Now that I have my ringtone that I want, we go back out to using this arrow here to the song view. And it's called, it, it automatically calls a new song, my song one, my song two, my song three. I want to rename this. So I'm going to hold my finger down and select rename. And then I want to make sure that I organize my files. So I'm just going to call this Michael Jackson MJ ringtone. So then I know there we go. And then all I have to do is now hit select on the top right hand corner, select the session that I want to export as a ringtone by tapping on it. And then I hit the export button on the bottom left hand corner. And this will give me an option to export that as a audio file, a ringtone or a garage band project. I'm going to select ringtone and then we give it the name of the ringtone. This is going to appear on our ringtones list. And when I hit export, it's going to save that and I can now use that as a ringtone. And this is right here. This now gives me the option to set it as my ringtone. So if I select use sound as I can select my standard ringtone, we can also use this method to make text tones as well. So if you have a really short little audio uh, clip that you want to use your text tone, you can do that. We can assign it to a specific person as well, which is kind of cool. I'm going to select that as my standard ringtone. And now if we want to go and change that at any time, that will be a permanent part in our settings right here. And under settings, if I go down to sounds and haptics, that will now be a permanent uh, feature here. If I select ringtone and I just did this before I tested it out with a Bill Withers song called grandma's hands. And now I have blame on the boogie. So we've got all the, the normal options that they give you for the, and now I've got the, my two um, custom ringtones that I've made in GarageBand up the top. So that's how you do it. Now I'm going to show you a quick method of downloading songs off the internet and turning them into a ringtone using the same method. So I'm going to open my Safari browser. This does not work with the Chrome browser. It only works with the Safari browser. And I'm basically going to search for a song that I want. And um, you can use any website that you can download MP3s for this. I use a site called freesound.org. And the reason I use this website is that um, all of the sounds on here are copyright free and creative commons. So I know that I won't get into any trouble with copywriting or pirating because they're all, they're all creative commons. You can also type in uh, NCS MP3, no copyright sound MP3, and you get some websites. Um, but you know, you can, you can select whatever website you want for this. So I'm going to search for uh, some, maybe some funk music here. You have to have a um, account with freesound.org and they're very good. They never spam you. So I'm just going to see if I can find a short bit of uh, funk music. Let's try this funk guitar. Let's have a quick listen. Should play for us. Okay. So let's say I want to grab that. I'm going to click on the name and then this will give me the download screen. And if I zoom in there, you'll see that this work is creative commons under the attribution license. So if I want to use this in anything, I have to attribute the original person, but um, because it's creative commons, I'm very welcome to download that for personal use and private use. And now it's going to say, do you want to download this song? And I say, yes. So you can see on the top right hand corner that there is a download um, and it's doing the status of that download. And then that should end up in uh, my downloads folder in my files app on my iPhone. So if I exit out of Safari and let that download in the background, you'll see my files app right here. If I click on that um, and then in here, the, you've, it normally gives you this screen when you go into your files app. So this is where you can browse files on your iCloud drive um, or any other place that you have them. 
And I like to use this option on my iPhone because the file I just downloaded is going to end up in this downloads folder. And you can see there that progress is almost complete. And there it is there, it's done. So I know I've got a few downloads here. Let's see if uh, I did download this before actually. So there it is, Funk Guitar. And I've already renamed it rather than one of, one of these long names so it's easy to find. So I'll show you how you can turn that song that you've just downloaded off the internet into your ringtone. You basically do the same me method that I showed you um, at the very start of this video. You just go to GarageBand, you create a new song and um, if you, I'm just going to go through this really quick now because if you want to um, follow along with me a bit more slowly, you can just go back to the start of this video. But I should now be able to find this uh, song, this piece of music that I downloaded under files. And then you can browse items from the files app down the bottom there. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to search. I have to go back one select on my iPhone and then go to my downloads folder right there. And then if I select funk guitar, there it is right there, funk guitar. And then, oh, so I do it from this screen, sorry. So it's added it to this screen and then I just drag that in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make that four bars long and I'm going to loop that. And then I'm going to export this song that's called My Song 4. And let's export this song as a ringtone. And then I just name it Funk Guitar. So this is basically, you know, anywhere that you can download music online, anywhere that you know of, you can get this into your downloads folder and use this as your ringtone. So I'm going to use that sound as my standard ringtone. And then there we go. It's all done. So that those are two methods uh, that you can use to get songs out of your music library on your iPhone and make them into your ringtone. And also any other song that you can download off the internet and turn that into your ringtone as well. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you found this content valuable, make sure you subscribe to the channel for future videos and updates. And if you have any questions regarding this video, if anything on this confused you or it's not working for you, leave a comment and I'll get back to you and try and help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.